and you wonder why you never went on sneaker app oh it's the bots oh it's the reseller oh it's this and that oh it's this white lady giving his giving her son all the goddamn shoes what's up youtube it's your boy damn d uh man y'all been bro y'all been going crazy with this man i I never got so many damn DMs in my life about one particular subject. I mean, y'all was going in in my DMs, man. Make sure y'all follow me on my Instagram, damn D kicks, link down below and all that good stuff. But hey, before we get into talking about this, I am I am doing my Jordan for raffle all right i am doing my jordan for raffle today uh it's gonna uh begin at seven o'clock tonight so if you want to join the raffle make sure you join the raffle because y'all know everything i do is a hundred percent legit all right size 11 i'm probably gonna make another video explaining the de the details but if you know about the raffle details it's the same exact rules all right ten dollars for one entry twenty dollars for three entry send it to my cash app dollar sign damn d um and uh when you send it when you send the money make sure you send your instagram name and your uh email address so i can contact you all right and i will be doing a raffle today at seven o'clock now are we are we really surprised I, I, are you are you really surprised that someone that works for Nike was hooking up their son? Are, are you surprised? Are you surprised? I mean, that goes down in every business. You know what I mean? Like that just happens in every business. You know what I mean? If if the manager at Walmart has a son or has a daughter, or whatever. They're gonna get special stuff that the normal people can't get. I mean, like it's duh. I mean, of course. But in this case, like, it's that situation on steroids. For the simple fact that that's like someone at Best Buy, right? Like the CEO at Best Buy was using his discount employee discount getting those products giving it to his son or daughter and letting his son or daughter open up uh like a side you know like a side tv shop and reselling all the tvs that he gets from his dad or her dad from discount you know what i mean like this is this this is I'm not surprised, man. I'm I'm really not surprised, bro. It's Nike, it's money. This is white privilege. This is this is bullshit, bro. This is the sneaker game that we deal with. And you know what? I'm not even. I mean, I'm gonna read some of this. Like, I I, I really don't care about this situation because at the end of the day. Is she the only one doing this that's working at Nike? Hell no. She's probably the only one doing it at this magnitude, at this degree. But I'm sure other people are doing the same thing, probably just not on a bigger, larger scale. And probably being not so stupid with this. All right. So this is the lady, right? She's what? The vice president, general manager of the North American Geographic. All right this lady right here like she has pulled she is in high ranking with uh nike not only is she that she manages or oversees or overlooks or does something with sneakers app she like manages a sneakers app or something like this let me let me just read some of this okay blah 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 uh where's the part where she runs sneakers app or some or, or some crazy shit like that um it was in one of these uh yeah here we go included the sneaker app like she runs the sneaker app bro 
and you wonder like this is this is like this is the same thing as Marcus Jordan but amplified by you know 10 like this is like the trophy room situation on crack on steroids like this is all the same thing bro and what I'm more disappointed in the sneaker culture is this this is the kid right this is the kid that got caught up right this this is her daughter i mean her son right this is the guy's instagram page right we giving this we i don't i don't understand people bro especially in the sneaker game y'all complain 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 but yet y'all give these people clout y'all respect these people y'all respect why does he has 35,000 subscribers nobody should have subscribed to him like why are y'all subscribing to him for bro y'all giving this man clout Y'all give all these resellers clout and fame and fortune. Y'all give it to them. Y'all the ones clicking the pictures, liking, liking the pictures, subscribing. Look at this. He, he got a thousand something likes, thousand something likes. Like, and y'all, y'all give people like this. y'all reward them like y'all literally are dancing with the devil like people like this is the devil of the sneaker game like th this is why we don't never win shit for the people that really want to buy the shoes people that really want to rock the shoes this is why but yet y'all y'all <laughs> y'all follow these people and y'all give them the clout now, this is nothing but a clout chasing move. Like all these resellers that take these type of pictures, they do it for the wow factor. They do it because they know that they're going to get reposted, reposted, reposted. They're going to get tagged and they're going to get followers and they're going to get new clientele. But yet y'all fall for it every single time, bro. Y'all like I'm I'm not I mean yeah I'm mad that this this happened <laughs> this happened under Nike umbrella you know look, look at this bro look. and he was getting this directly from Nike from from the sneaker ass these are a lot of people's shoes that he got in his warehouse and and this is this is probably just the shoes that he got left over you know what i mean like that's not including how many he got on the release day and stuff look at this pe samples look at this off whites <laughs> look at all those off whites bro that he took from us and resold it and and people bought it. like i don't understand like why do y'all condone this behavior and y'all condone this behavior because y'all pay for these shoes y'all follow him y'all taking pictures with like what what the fuck you taking pictures with this geek for like for what thanks for coming by and shopping you you literally taking you literally dancing with the devil like resellers are the devil of the sneaker community bro they are not here for us and don't give me that bullshit excuse oh, we're here for the culture you here to take shoes from us and to charge us ridiculous prices but yet we condone it like look at this bro this man got caught the fuck out of here man he was a bitch And y'all know how I feel about man. Y'all 
Dude's taking pictures with him, bragging, laughing. Man, this just really upsets me. Look, at the end of the day, bro, I don't feel like nothing even is going to change about this. Nothing is going to change, bro. The only thing, the only way stuff is going to change in the resale business in the sneaker community, if the consumers do something, us, we, the people, we are the people that giving them the money. And I, I will confess, I have bought shoes on, you know, shoes for retail and stuff like that, you know? So I'm probably at fault as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, you know, sit here and deny that I never bought shoes for resale. But at the end of the day, nothing's going to change. What do you think that's going to happen from this? Like, what do you honestly think that this is going to happen? Like, this is a major deal. This is a big deal. But guess what? Nothing's going to happen. What happened with the trophy room one situation? We all talked about it. We all talked about it. Nothing happened. They didn't make more pairs. They didn't give us more opportunity. There, there wasn't a restock. Yeah, we talked about it, but nothing happened. What do you think is going to happen about this? I don't know. Maybe the person goes to jail. Maybe, maybe the person doesn't. Maybe they get paid off. Whatever the case. What Whatever happens to this VP is going to happen to her. I really don't give a fuck. She deserves it. Her whole family deserves exactly what is coming to them. If you're doing dirt in the light, guess what? It's going to shine on you one day. It's, it's going to shine on you one day. And when you get exposed, there's no sympathy. Because you knew what you were doing was wrong. There's no sympathy. Go to jail. Have to pay, you know, hundreds, thousands of dollars for all those shoes that you sold. You know? Is, is Nike going to take all these shoes and do a restock on Sneakers app? That would be dope. That would be dope, Nike. If you took all these shoes that they stole from you and did a, a massive restock on Sneakers app to give us a, another chance to buy the shoes that were taken from us, that would be nice. Is that going to happen? I don't know. At the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck about these people. Whatever happened to them, happened to them. But something does need to happen to them. Either you go to jail, well, frankly, they just need to go to jail, cause, cause this is this, this bullshit, bro. Like this, this, this pissed me off so much. But what pisses me off even more is how we allow this to happen. And like I said, the look at these mags. You know, people are speculating. Oh, they got caught because he was using his mom credit card. What, what, whatever the case is, I'm not about to go into detail and do all this research. Look, man, at the end of the day, this is going to happen. This is going to continuously happen if we, the people, stop buying from resellers. Will that ever happen? Probably never because people are too damn thirsty, bro. The thirst for sneakers drives this type of behavior. The thirst of sneakers condones this type of fuck shit. We giving our hard earned work money to these fuck boys that don't give a shit about our culture. And now I say that and y'all like D, you resell shoes. You bro, stop stop with that fucking th stop saying that shit. Bro, I resell shoe one pair of shoe that I bought the legit way. Like I said, I don't have a problem with people reselling. As long as you're doing it the right way. If you go to the store and you out there camping out with me and you go and buy your one pair or buy your two pair and you out there with me in the raffles. 
waiting in line, going to the cash register, swiping your credit card re when the shoe releases. It's, it's fair game. It's fair game. Like, okay, I do that. This is the fuck shit that I'm talking. Look at look at how many Yeezys he just backdoored. How you even get Yeezys? Your mom worked for Nike. Like nothing legit is. A look at all these Dior's, bro. Nothing is legit of what he's doing. Nothing is legit. This is all scamming, backdooring, finessing, bullshit in politics. Shoes on top of shoes on top of shoes, bro. And guess what? I'm glad he got caught. This just shows you what clout chasing can do. People take these type of pictures to clout chase. And I feel like every reseller need to go to jail, bro. All you, all you resellers that take this type of picture, that do it for the clicks, all y'all need to go to jail. All y'all need to go to prison. All y'all need to get caught. Because you're stupid. Because you're stupid. Do you know how many, so, so many people take, resellers take pictures like this. And they do it for the wow factor. And they basically just spitting in our face, bro. They are literally spitting in our face, telling us to open your mouth. Open your mouth. I'm about to spit in your face. Let me cock this loogie back. <sighs> and we just like, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 right here, right here. Oh, right here. Oh, I love you. Frankly, I hope Nike does this to all resellers one day. I hope Nike cracks down on all you fucking resellers that do shit like this. Because y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve to go to jail for being stupid. Y'all deserve to go to jail for being thirsty. Y'all deserve to go to jail for being a dumbass. Like, if you got this many shoes, why are you showing it? You you need to go to jail just to be just for being a dumbass, just, just for being thirsty for attention. <laughs> That's all I got to say about this, man. Look, at the end of the day, this is going to continue happening. This is not going to stop anything. There's going to be another reseller with another 150 pairs of shoes and y'all going to click the like button. Y'all going to go to his page, subscribe. How much, bro? How much, bro? How much, bro? How much, bro? <laughs> and you will wonder why we, the regular consumers, can never buy the shoe that we want for retail. Because y'all condone this type of behavior. And it's never going to change, bro. So that's my thoughts about this whole situation. Like, I really can care less about these people. I, really, I, I just hope they all go to jail I hope the son go to jail I hope the mother go to jail Whoever's involved I hope the whole operation goes to jail It's crazy bro And we give people like this the power. We follow them on Instagram. We follow them on YouTube. Like, bro, like YouTube, you, YouTube is so disgusting to, man, I, I, can, I can keep talking about this, but YouTube is so disgusting to watch, to see that we giving clout. We watching resellers. Why the fuck are we watching resellers, bro? These are niggas that are taking the shoe from us and charging us extra fucking three four five times the money and we watching them and we and y'all give them donations like y'all give <laughs> i'm out bro because it's just I'm, I'm i'm more disappointed in us because we condone this behavior at the end of the day it's it's not going to stop un until we stop 
accepting this until we stop buying from resellers until we stop following their instagram until we stop hitting the like button like bro could you imagine what would happen if we stopped buying resell and we left all those shoes with those resellers and they couldn't move them do you know what that would do do you know what that would do if we would stop giving our money to resellers and they were stuck with all those shoes, what would you think would happen? That would be the evolution of the sneaker game. That would be the evolution of the sneaker game. Let that marinate. It's your boy, DMD. I'm signing out. Make sure if y'all new to the channel, y'all hit that subscribe. Speaking of, into my raffle. <laughs> into my raffle, all right? I'm doing a raffle. Um, $10 for one entry. $20 for three entry cash app dollar sign damn D and uh, leave your Instagram and your uh, email address in the uh, cash app. I will be doing the raffle today. All right. <laughs> I'm not even going to say that, but yeah, I'm out of here, man. It's your boy, damn D peace.